my name is Harris L177. Today we're playing some more amnesia. At the moment we're in this little room. I've looked a few notes. Now we're gonna go and see if we can try and get some of them orbs. of August 1839. The blood wards are failing. The shadow beckons and its cry disarms my actions. Hurry, no time to spare. You have to kill another. Alexander produces a knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Do it. Save yourself. He is a murderer, Daniel. He is evil. A cold-blooded killer. Hurry! Alexander, you must let me be. I have to concentrate. Take the man, cut the lines, cut the flesh, watch the blood spill, let it come! Please, I didn't do anything. Take the man, cut the lines, take the man, cut the lines! Please, the man cries. Ah, ah, now you see. I did well. One life for another. You hear me, guardian of the orb? I did all this for you. Now, once more, withdraw your shadow from my domain. Alexander, there isn't much time. I can feel it. We must act swiftly. I will do whatever it takes. Okay, this is so messed up. Daniel, why did you kill an innocent man? You thought that he was a murderer by Alexander. I don't think that's true. I think you've only prolonged the ine inevitable, but you're going to die. Even though you feel that like you've done good in the world. Which I honestly think you have. <laughs> For killing people and torturing them. That's just some insane stuff. Okay, well. Because Bruce is insanity. Yeah. What's this? Because our sanity. Oh. And there's the man. Funny enough, that. Oh. Do whatever it takes. Guess I have to cut him open. <laughs> really doing anything so oh there's a lot of dead men here I'm getting out down why did you kill so many people just it's because you're afraid of the shadow I mean you know would you but you guys do such a thing kill people just because you're afraid of something coming for you just insane, man. That's insane shit. I'm 
coming back. Fuck that. <laughs> you know what I mean. There's something lurking there. You don't want to meet it. So screw that. We'll see that another time. Let's just go to the other place where there is another bear. Incredible! You found Vile's recipe. That there might still be a chance. Listen carefully. Alexander is working on opening a gate, a door to another world. It's where he wants to go. If you could put your anger aside, let him open the portal before you take your revenge. Let me pass the gate, then. Please find the ingredients that Pazatonic Vile describes. And do so before you assemble the all. The barrier keeping you from the inner sanctum will only be breached for a short time. Unless everything is taken care of before mending the all, you won't be able to save me. Said he found a way to take me with him beyond the star. That's good to know. In a certain degree. Let's go back into this room instead. Forget the little fish that's in that well. Oh, this is a big place. Big place that's airy as hell. Okay, well. Good luck to me. How much more, Baron? How much more am I supposed to withstand? Kill me already! Kill me! This one. Prepare him. Okay. That's a load of dark. That's also a load of dark. I just cannot go up the stairs. Have a friendly time up there. Yeah. I second that notion. Go up the stairs first, because why not? Some nice painting. Oh, can you stop with the sounds, please? Jeez. Jesus, what is up with that fucking thing? Okay, there's some real messed up shit here. It's like some sort of personal study. Okay, looks like you. Oh, can you stop with the sounds? Come on. on torture. There are quite a few things to be said about torture. I had figured that the reaction I would get from the victims would be highly individual. Thankfully, this is not the case. The humans all have a very similar approach to dealing with physical pain and the terror of anticipation. I can't stress enough the importance of restraining the victims before proceeding. Even the most timid creature can break out in fits of violence where their strength exceeds their expected progress. If proper care has been put into breaking the victim, this should not be a problem, but if will but it will hinder the effect I am after. The right steps to take are therefore to restrain while the victim is still dazed, but to proceed by presenting a form of torture you are 
about to apply and then to continue with the actual act. The point of presentation is to confuse terror. The human mind is extremely efficient as it will trigger itself into great fear simply by imagining it. While applying pain, make sure to avoid massive damages as it will prove more efficient if the progress can be sustained. Also apply the pain in doses, if possible with breaks to let the body settle. If you are whipping or cutting the victim, strike once, wait for the pain to subdue and strike again. As long as the body suffers, it will continue to produce the parate and saturate the blood with its properties. Only with careful performance will the victim yield maximum effect. If the victim doesn't behave as expected, it's likely that all will be for naught because this happens. Feed them the amnesia drink and then try again later. Amnesia drink. Interesting stuff. Dutch stream. the most or is it perhaps myself i know what i have become i am not blind i am a monster to them a de demonic sultan perched on a dark mountaintop there is still little i can do to redeem myself black eagle fears me and after napoleon's defeat it, it is only a matter of time before they will demand my head on a planter i must remove myself from this island this time it must work if I can't return home now, I shall perish. Okay. That's some weird ass shit. Wait. There's nothing here. I assume we'll head downstairs. So we have string, some string made from hemp, and a bone is covered in mucus. Okay. Interesting. Let's head down. Okay, can you stop with the whispering? I know this place is like fucking evil as hell, but still, you would appreciate the fact that you'd like to stop the whispering. Let's go into this friggin' hell. Close the door behind me, because, you know, you don't really want anything to hold in. Here's the cell. He set a man on fire. 
It wasn't my fault! Why won't anyone listen? That's horrible. Of course. We are dealing with monsters here. As you say, Alexander. As you say. Now this is messed up. No, no, please! I'll do anything! Whatever you want! Anything! I'll do anything! I'm innocent! Damn. The arsonist kept crying as he was slowly lowered on and off the impaler. It didn't take much to break him, but he had meant for him to die. The torch was working behind their expectations. It wasn't the method, it was the arsonist. He was different from the others. They could they couldn't make him forget again. Ah, interesting. Is there any more penny? Or is that just it? I guess I'll use my last tender box. Oh here it is, it's just hiding here. a good idea. Staying here for too long seems like a bad idea. <laughs> oh my god. But fucking hell, really Daniel, things that you've done. Fucking hell, that's, that's punishable by death. You know, you might even be, you might even have the same torment that you would probably have with the victims. You seem to have found all the wall pieces used in the transfer. Go to the choir and find the rest. Well, I'll go over there then, shall I? Another memento. Yeah, I know that already. Why does it keep writing stuff when I don't need it anymore? God damn it. Right, let's have a look. Let's keep going. God, this is some sick shit right here. <laughs> right, well, this is it, guys. So, uh, this has been Harazar177 signing off. <laughs>